Pump bank on it. You can put a hundred cramp on it. Anything I said, I stamp on it. Hey guys, welcome back to another week. Um, it's your girl Ness Diaries, and I'm back with another video. So keep watching to find out what it's even about. So this week, as promised, I said that I was going to switch up the content a bit. So this week, I'm just going to be speaking to you guys, and then next week, I'll be speaking to you guys again. So I'm going to mix and max. Uh, mix and match my content for you all so this week i'm going to be speaking to you guys about what to do after finishing university so some of you may have just graduated and if you have congratulations um some of you may have graduated and already found your grad jobs that you want and others may still be thinking or taking a break prior to commencing or finding or looking for a grad job so my video today is all about just really speaking to you about graduate graduate jobs and what is appropriate for you and what I what advice I can give you guys basically. So when it comes to grad jobs, I'd say that, that it's important to find something um, that you actually do have an interest in, and that's one of the mistakes that I made when I finished university I just applied for a job for the sake of applying for it and I did end up working there but I didn't end up liking it to the to how I thought I would so I think it's important to actually look for something you're interested in so I think one of the mistakes that I made when I first graduated was I literally just applied for something and then I just took the job um but I had no experience of working in that department or speciality prior um even as a student and yeah, I feel like it's important to actually find something that you actually think you'll have interest in because if you think of it, this is actually your full-time job now. It's not a university where you had a placement and then if you didn't like the placement, at least you know you have a certain amount of weeks and then that's all. Like this is actually your real job, like this is your big girl job and that is a massive difference as to when you're a student. And as 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 much as like being in your final year, we actually do have a lot of independency, um, we have minimal supervision when you actually do start your nursing job there is so much more to it than, than what you think there's so many different things that nurses do that sometimes um you may have not realized or they may have done referrals that you didn't even know needed to be done etc so basically what i'm trying to say is that after graduating there is a whole load more responsibility more than you we ever thought or you ever thought you required to begin with so it is important to work somewhere that you actually will enjoy Another thing that I would say is how, well, you may be asking yourself like, okay, so what do I need to look for? Like where, what websites do I look for in regards to applying for jobs? And what exactly do I have to do? So when I was applying for jobs, I looked on Indeed. I looked on the NHS website as well. If there's a particular trust that you want to work in, um, then look for those trusts as well. Look at the jobs vacancies on those trusts. That you want to work in um, and make sure that the job vacancies actually say that it's for a newly qualified nurse and um, that you have a program preceptorship program as well so you can just get as much support as you need um, as a newly qualified nurse I think it's really important when you go for your interviews as well to ask them like how will they support you um, as a newly qualified nurse as well because it's really important to see and understand that you're going to a place where you know there's a lot of teamwork there's a lot of people that are willing to help you out um because you don't know it all you're literally new and if you're watching this and you've already secured your grad job you're new in your department and you just feel very overwhelmed i'll just say to you to you that that's okay to feel like that um it's not easy at first but you genuinely do end up getting the hang of everything um so yeah that's what I was saying. So yeah, I went on in Indeed and I found myself a new qualified Bank 5 nurse job. Um, and that's what I was doing initially, which is respiratory. And then I moved to Ghani. Um, but yeah, I just feel like my main advice from this would be don't work somewhere that you haven't worked in or you don't have an interest in. It's one thing to not work somewhere that you haven't worked in before. But at least if you have an interest in that a speciality then that's absolutely fine but if you want to work somewhere new that you haven't worked in before and you have no interest in it then you won't benefit or gain anything from working in that department um i think the second thing that i would say also is do your research on the environment that you're going into the reason why i'm saying that is because if it's a toxic environment you don't want to work there and you'll end up not being happy there so it's important to do research if you can 
um as well and when you go for your interviews ask all the questions you need to ask because as i said this is your long-term job for, for until you decide to do something else so yeah just make sure that it's somewhere that you actually truly want to spend your time because a lot of the time we end up spending more time at work than at home so make sure it's somewhere you actually want to be and yeah i think that's all from me this was a really short and sweet video um if you have graduated as i said before congratulations um it's so nice like seeing everybody graduating and actually knowing and seeing you guys whilst you're students when you're asking me advice to now graduating it's amazing to see um but yeah if you have any questions please message me on my social media platforms and i'll see you next sunday for another video um that video will be a bit longer for you guys as well but yeah i hope you have an amazing week stay tuned um to a lot of things are going on in september guys actually <laughs> a lot of things are going on in september so be on the lookout for that we've got talks we've got projects and other stuff that will all be unleashed for you all um so yeah just watch this space and we've reached 1k subscribers which i'm so happy about as well so yeah thank you guys so much for the support thank you for watching this video make sure you subscribe continue to share with friends and let them know what's going on with nurse diaries see you guys next week bye